I'm here to talk to Jack Cabot. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Come on. Let's go meet the boss. What is this place? Better to let Jack answer that. Come on. Jack, the new guy is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. He'll be right with us. <laughs> oh, damn. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. Hmm? What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here, since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. Pleased to meet you, Jack. And I am very pleased to meet you. Edward finds it tiresome, but I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, have a seat. Whoever lives here must have made a deal with the devil. Now, before we get down to business, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Are you talking about aliens? UFOs and little green men? No, no. That's all popular hysteria. I doubt any of it has any basis in fact. I'm talking about the hidden history of our planet. The very origins of human civilization. Ancient powers that modern science, even at its pinnacle, could barely begin to comprehend. You think aliens created human civilization? Of course he does. Shouldn't everyone? I mean... How do you know they aren't? Yes, if by alien you mean a non-human precursor to the commonly understood founding cultures. Sumer, Egypt, Assyria. My father excavated a city in the Rub al-Khali in Arabia, which he dated to more than 4,000 years before the rise of any known human civilization. The structures and artifacts were strange, disturbing even. Clearly not constructed for or by humans. I've spent my life trying to decipher what he uncovered. Jack, can I tell him what I need him to do? I'm sorry, Edward. I just get carried away sometimes. You're sending him to look for the missing shipment? Yeah. Well then, I'd better leave you to it. We'll talk more about this some other time, when things are less rushed. It isn't important now. Welcome to the family. Okay. You're officially hired. Congratulations. That was... interesting. Huh. <laughs> Good. If you like that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. You know the old insane asylum you shot up? Parsons? There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. She's in charge of the security force there. She can point you in the right direction. You all set then?
I have some questions. Shoot. Why does Jack have people guarding an old insane asylum? I don't mind you asking questions. As long as you don't mind me not answering them. If it was important to what I was asking you to do, I'd tell you. In this case, it isn't. Anything else? What's this missing package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. Are we good here? How did this package go missing? The courier got there and picked up the package just fine. But never got back here. Could be simple bad luck. Or it could be a deliberate ambush. That's why I'm sending you. It's important that you recover the missing package. You all set then? Nothing else. Okay. They're expecting you over at Parsons, so you'd better get going. Edward. What is it? Nothing else. Then you have a job to do. Excuse me. Hmm? What? Quite a place you've got here. Amazing that it survived the war. Thank you. I try not to take it for granted. We were definitely more fortunate than most. It hasn't been easy keeping it up to pre-war standards, but we do what we can. Are we done? I was intrigued by your theory about an ancient alien civilization. Actually, it was my father's theory. Now proven beyond doubt, Although only to me, unfortunately. There aren't many archaeology journals publishing these days. You have proof. Enough to satisfy me. <laughs> he only made a single expedition to the Lost City. But he brought back enough to show beyond a doubt that the city he found wasn't made by or for human beings. Millennia older than the earliest human civilizations. But with technology, that seems to have surpassed our own. And yet, everything about it is strange. Disturbing geometries. Tools not made for human hands. Carvings that hint at dimensions beyond our own. What was your father's theory? He believed that all of the earliest human civilizations shared some common parent that was unknown to history. Think of Atlantis. The myth of an advanced civilization destroyed by a cataclysm is shared by many widely separated ancient cultures. Eventually, he found what he was looking for. A lost city, 
buried beneath the sands of the empty quarter of the Arabian Desert. You said your father found a lost city? Yes. He spent years looking, and was widely ridiculed by the so-called experts. I'm ashamed to say even I doubted him. But in the end, he found it. A lost city, buried in the sands of the Rub al Khali, the empty quarter of Arabia. I wanted to ask you about something else. All right. What's going on at that old insane asylum? I carry out some of my research there. That's all you need to know. The more I know, the better I'll be at my job. Well, I suppose that may be true. My father is confined in Parsons. For his own safety and everyone else's, he became dangerously unstable after handling an ancient artifact he found in Arabia. I've spent my life trying to figure out how to cure him. Any more questions? How'd your father manage to travel to Arabia with the world blown to hell? Ah, well, that was before the war, when he was a young man. Come on. The war was 200 years ago. You know your history. Most people don't grasp how long ago the war really was. One of the effects of my father's <coughs> illness was a slowing or arresting of the aging process. So, yes, he is well over 200 years old, as you suspected. Are we done? I've got to get going. All right. 